All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a. It is Monday night, right? Almost feels like a Friday, but it is Monday night out here. 8 08 p.m. California time here. We got uh, a lot of earthquake activity ramping up out here across the globe, uh, including some larger movement to show you guys here, real quick. The larger activity coming in within the last couple minutes. Another another 6.0 earthquake up here across the Kamchatka area of Russia okay I've been chatting about this quite a bit here I, I'm sure quite a few of you folks getting tired of me yakking and yakking about the earthquake activity up here across the Russia area but this is a very important area of large-scale earthquake activity here out here in the last couple months okay so right now we have another 6.0 earthquake coming into the area of the Kamchatka area of Russia. That makes it the second 6.0 earthquake out here in the last 24 hours. So we've seen a huge amount of uptick out here in the last 24 hours. We're looking at 24 earthquakes of considerable large size events here. Okay, these are not microquakes. That's a decent amount of earthquake activity in a short time period. This leads me to believe here that we are looking at something in the 9.0 earthquake range it's about ready to happen out here soon i don't throw those numbers out here randomly i i throw them out there because of the historical activity that has taken place out here we have seen a 9.0 earthquake out here uh, along this area of the kamchatka trench uh, back in the early 1920s 1930s the 8.8 .8 earthquake that occurred out here is only a stress reliever uh, for a 9.0 earthquake so I do believe firmly that we're looking at some uh, something larger out here along this area folks this is not common this is not common whatsoever okay this does not occur following an 8.8 .8 earthquake uh, along this magnitude here this this stirred up out of the blue today stirred up out of the blue this is not a month of accumulation whatsoever you know if we were to go back to the last 30 days or last couple of months you'd see a huge uptick of earthquake activity out here but this is the last 24 hours and it basically stirred up there about midnight or so so uh, yeah you know we please pay attention to what's going on out here when we got a significant swarm of earthquake activity going on out there across a major area of a subduction zone that included some mega quake activity a couple months past. This tells me that we're not yet done with mega quake activity. I'm talking about something above the 8.8 .8 level. Watch that very closely. I'm not being lenient. I'm being observant. And um, this is something we have to take close, uh, take a close attention to here. I'm going to. What I'm going to do is pull up the uh, snipping tool here. I want to use this as my thumbnail real quick. This, Like I said, this earthquake just came in here. And um, it's pretty important as to what's going on here um, with the earthquake activity up there across the Kamchatka area. Uh, the 8.8 .8 earthquake that occurred, uh, that occurred up there in July... That did not completely relieve the strain out there. So the sequence of events since then has led me put to believe that we're looking at something above the 8.8 .8 earthquake level here near term. Near term. That includes areas up above, up above the 9.0 level. So um, that's not fear mongering. This is just scientific data that's occurring out here. And, uh, you know, this is abnormal earthquake activity for an 8.8 .8 this many months later. Uh, so this is this will be in your future here. I guarantee you this is uh, something we need to look forward to as uh, far as some larger activity coming up very soon. Watch that closely. Uh, let's give a quick glance here uh, at the uh, other activity occurring around the globe. Southern California lighting up around the San Andreas Fault. Nothing big, nothing above 2.5. It's all smaller microquake activity. One earthquake right smack dab. You know, 
if I were to hang something up on my wall here in my earthquake office, it would be this earthquake right here. So that earthquake occurred last night, but it's a 2.8. They just added that earthquake here recently. But I've been talking about how the strain's been building up out here across the Cascadia. Again, they just added that probably within the last couple hours. I, I don't know who added it, but it's something new here. But that's prior to the Cascadia subduction zone. The Cascadia tremor events have been quite amplified out there across Southern in here in the last couple days. In fact, we're looking at uh, last week. Let's show you guys here real quick, see what we got. Uh, looking at uh, a significant number of 1,350 epicenters of tremor. That is slow slip events there across the Cascadia subduction zone. So when you hear, when you hear about the 8.7 or 8.9 or even a 9.0 earthquake, across this area don't, please don't be surprised because we've been talking about this there's been quite a bit of trimmer activity uptick across this area of the cascadia subduction zone here recently and that's uh that that is what adds further stress up there so the area where the six pointer struck up there in russia that's been swarming since last night Okay, this is not just one earthquake and all of a sudden it's swarming. This has been swarming in pretense of the last 24 hours. So that tells me right here that a bigger earthquake is about ready to happen in this area of the Kamchatka, Russia area. This is something you normally don't see from an 8.8 .8 months ago. Okay, this is something telling me that the stress has not yet been relieved along this area of the uh, Kamchatka area. There's been so much deep activity here. You know, it's, there's a lot of activity stirring up out here, folks. Uh, real quick with the space weather activity, rocking and rolling with M flare activity. Also, we have a massive coronal hole, center disk. Expect large earthquake activity occur here in the next couple days. That is uh, t that that is what the forecast calls for because in the last couple months here we've seen enormous amount of earthquake activity being elevated following a coronal hole activity that's facing the Earth. That's no different than what's going on right now. So as we're looking at elevated earthquake activity, expect that to continue here in the next couple days. No major solar. Uh, uh, Aurora forecast there for now. I just wanted to jump in here real, real quick and show you guys the activity. It's uh, man, it's it's jumping up out here, folks. I think this is something we need to pay attention to here, really closely. All right, this is not something to joke around about. We're looking at uh, you know, a lot, lot of large scale uptick going on there across the Russia area. And look at this more recent earthquake activity. There's another 3.9 down here across the Japan area. So things are not yet done out here. It will take a 9.0 or greater earthquake to fully relieve the strain that's been building up out here across the northwestern corner of the Pacific Plate. This newer 3.9 event just confirms and uh, pretty much solidifies the suspicion out here along this area of the Pacific plate boundary. Watch for larger movement overnight. Please be prepared. We'll see you guys out here in the morning.